except there's one thing that's gonna take me out. Unfortunately, I'm gonna have to give up van life for a bit and the truth is i wasn't ready to live in a van but here i am so if i wasn't ready for van life then why am i living this lifestyle well some would say that i'm running away from something because a lot of times when people live this lifestyle people think that it must be because i'm running away from a bad relationship bad job bad situation money problems but on the flip side some would say that i'm running towards something a better lifestyle more freedom the ability to open myself up to some greater experiences but for me this life is just about going with the flow i thrive on variety Variety. I don't like to feel stuck in one spot and I am the kind of person that tries a lot of things I dip my toe into a lot of different pools because I want to experience all that life has to offer So I've done a lot of different things in my life and right now that thing is living in a vehicle I used to live in a car and now I live in a van and this is something that I'm doing for now I may not do it forever and something else might come into my life that I'm like Oh, I want to try that and that's just the way I am and I like to make the most of this life because I'm not gonna be here forever. But that still doesn't answer why I'm in a van. So here's my story. I started out living in my car by taking a short three week trip up to Vancouver, Canada and back to California. At that point, I realized I loved it. So I packed up the rest of my things into my Kia Optima. And in January, 2020, I took off on a Southern States road trip. I was prepared to live in my car full time, but then in March of 2020, y'all know what happened. Say it with me now, pandemic. The pandemic was a bummer, but you know what's not a bummer? Becoming part of the snack pack. All you gotta do is hit that subscribe button and the notification bell. Throw a like on this video and keep watching till the end so you can find out what the benefits are to living in a van over a car. I was not deterred by that. I had everything I needed in my car and I was like, I'm gonna keep going. This is what I'm doing. I live in my car and I'm fine with it. But all my family was urging me to come back to California. They were worried about me. They were worried about what was happening. And then the first thing that happened that made me kind of turn my head sideways like, hmm, 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 was when people started hoarding. Not that I needed extra toilet paper in my car, but I did need water. And so when I would go into grocery stores, there was no water to be had. And I was like, okay, I don't have a Think I don't have a way to get extra water except by buying water. And that was the first time that I was like, well, this might be a little bit more tricky. But the other thing to keep in mind is that I don't have another place of my own. The only place I had was my car. I didn't have another apartment house or anything else to go back to. So if I came back to California, I'd be living with my parents. So I was like, no, I'm just gonna stay living in my car. The next thing that happened was that all the attractions that I wanted to see were closing down. Then bathrooms started shutting down everywhere. And I was like, well, I could still go to Starbucks and Walmart and places like that that are for sure going to stay open. And everybody kept saying, you need to come back to California. There's going to be a lockdown. You got to come back. And I was like, I'm not coming back. The only way I'm coming back is if Planet Fitness closes because then I can't shower and I'm not going to go months without a shower. So a couple days later, don't you know, on the news, all gyms have shut down. And I was like, fudge. I didn't say fudge. I said something else. I feel so defeated so I ended up driving back to California and I was really bummed out okay I'll go home it's probably gonna last for like two weeks and then I can get back out on the road with my car because I loved living in my car and I just made a video about that recently and I'll link it at the end so you don't have to stop and watch it right now but you'll remember at the end when you see it but as the days and weeks went by I was like okay I can't make traveling videos if I can't travel and I was just sitting at my parents house just twiddling my thumbs and I was like like this really sucks not because I don't love my parents or being around my parents but just because I was stuck in one place just like all of us were now I got back to California in mid-march and by the end of May I was like what the heck I don't know what to do so at that point a lot of my friends and family were encouraging me they're like well if you love this lifestyle why don't you think about getting something bigger now and I was like no I'm not ready for that I love my car and the more I thought about it I was like depending on how long this lockdown goes this might be the best time so, and so I was like all right well let me just see what's out there so I started looking at vans and then my mom found a van that I thought was ugly but then I went and looked at it and it was a good deal and I was like well I guess maybe this is a good time this is a better time than any to get a van and gut it and build it because when else am I going to have this time to just be in one spot and so I bit the bullet bought the van and my dad and I embarked on building the van it did take a bit of money to buy and build this van and I didn't have a lot of money coming in because I wasn't able to make a lot of videos but I knew I could 
sell my car and I was like, okay, well the money that I get selling the car, I'll use to build a van. And so I finally sold my car and I cried for like a week because I missed my car. I still miss my car, but I was like, you're gaining so much getting this van. And now I want to tell you the benefits of having my van over my car. Before I get to the benefits of living in my van, I'd love to know in the comments if anything happened positively during the lockdown, if anything propelled you forward or you did something to grow and push your life forward during that time. So here are the five most drastic changes going from a car to living in a van. Number one, I can stand up and there's way more room. That in itself is huge because I am older and I need to stretch every day. I need to be able to stand up to put on my clothes, brush my teeth, put on my makeup, do all the things. And living in a car was great and all, but there's nothing like being able to stand up and just stretch in the morning and move around a bit. Number two, having a toilet. That that's probably should be number one because that was probably one of the hardest things about living in a car was having to find a bathroom all the time. And if you guys watch some of my older videos, I had this accordion pee cup and then I moved on to wearing diapers at night and don't knock it till you try it because it does work, but it's not ideal. Like if you don't have to, then it's always better to have different options. And so me having a toilet, it's a game changer. Number three, I have a place to keep my food, my beloved food dorm size fridge. I have a big mini fridge in my van with a separate fridge and freezer. So I'm able to have all my fresh and frozen foods. I have a way to cook in here and it's just so awesome. And by having a fridge, I have a variety of things that I could cook and eat at any time. Number four, I have power. So I have overhead lights, a reading light, a water pump so I can have fresh water. I can charge things. I have outlets. It's awesome and i have a big battery bank so i'm able to charge a lot of things i can't charge all the things but i have enough power to stay comfortable in the van and number five this is my tiny home i have everything i need in here there's more than enough storage for me i have actually too many clothes i have lots of food lots of gadgets all the things that i would ever need to feel comfortable in here it is definitely my home on wheels and i do love it and on a little side note that's not part of the bullet points but i just wanted to mention is that by me building a van with my dad and my mom it really gave us a bonding moment now we fought a lot because if you've ever built a van you'll understand this i thought it was going to take two or three months and it took six months and it still wasn't done but by the end of it we felt so triumphant and i just love my parents so so much because they've given so much of their time and energy to helping me build my home i don't even think i'll ever sell this van even if it breaks down and never runs again it's just something that is a part of my memories of building this with my mom and dad especially my dad and i just love it so much now i say all this to say that i love living in my car i love living in my van and the commonality is that i try to make the most of every opportunity that i have so if you're in a situation where you think you want this thing but you don't have the means to get that thing but you can get this thing in the meantime Go for it because you can always move up and grow and do different things. Now, I've had a lot of challenges living in this van, a lot. So we'll go back and watch a lot of my videos and you'll see, geez, there's so many things that have gone wrong. And through God, I've overcome them all, except there's one thing that's gonna take me out. Unfortunately, I'm gonna have to give up van life for a bit and I'll tell you why in the next video. Now, if you don't wanna wait till the next video, you can be the first to know things if you're part of our Patreon crew where I share almost real-time updates and behind-the-scenes videos that don't make it to YouTube. You can check it out with the link in the description below. Bye for now! Some people think that some some people some people a more free life than I'm that I'm that I'm writing that and I and in but by I was prepared to live in my I was prepared I was prepared to live I was prepared to live in my car full to but as the days and weeks tell me in the comments something tell me in the comments something positive before i get to i had like this p this accordion p funnel to be around where i shape where i share where i share where i where i share that whoa the pandemic was a bummer but you know it's not enough and behind the scenes stuff that i can't and behind and behind and behind